Oh, son of a. I tore this rock right out. Clipped out with the foot peg. It completely and utterly stopped the bike. Took me right off the foot pegs. One thing I really like about the Sherco is they've got a really nice hand grip right back here. Especially on this side. Makes it super nice. Don't look, it doesn't look like I've bent anything, but man, that rock stopped me in an instant. I'm learning that this bike actually needs to have gas. If you give this bike a little gas, then it starts. Like so many of the other four strokes that I've been on, they don't want any gas when you're trying to crank it over. This one seems like it's more two, like a two-stroke carburetor type deal where it does want some gas. Crack the throttle body open a little bit. Because that's really what you're doing, I guess. And then this thing seems to start a lot better. So now I've ridden this bike enough to know that I can say unequivocally, this bike is one of the best four strokes for mountain single track, like what you see right here, just kind of billy goading around and doing some quasi technical stuff. This bike is very, very good for that because the motor is just not so kind of overstrung that it breaks traction, but it has enough torque that it can kind of pull you up any of these things really, really well in a way that a lot of the four strokes, modern high compression four strokes just can't really do that well. This bike does it. And then with the fact that it's so nimble um, with kind of that almost short wheelbase feeling, short front to back, the thing does really, really well. I wish that I could ride this, and maybe I'm going to try to set this up where I could ride this back to back with the Beta 300 or Beta 390. Last year, I said that the Beta 390 was my favorite four-stroke of all time, and this bike is is uh, feels really, really good as far as for mountain single track type stuff. So it's difficult for me to know. Last year, I did the Beta 390 Race Edition, and I absolutely, positively loved it. Um, this one is also super, super good for this type of mountain riding, this type of single track. I haven't yet had it out in the desert. I do think, uh, as I said on one of the other videos, I'm going to drop my forks down in the triple clamps just a little bit, but I don't want to do too much with it. Um, but this bike has, is, is very, very good. I also am going to change the foot pegs though. Um, I'm going to change the foot pegs so that I can adjust them up and have a little bit more of an up camber so I'm not quite as fatigued on the bike because I think this bike fatigued me more. I rode this bike on a Tuesday and then I rode my KTM 250XC on a Thursday. I spent a lot less energy trying to hang on to the bike on the KTM and I think some of that has to do with the uh, foot peg setup. So I'm going to be changing that a little bit here very, very shortly. Realize for sure this bike does absolutely want to have some gas when you start it. If you go like that, and kind of like we did in the old days with all bikes, um, at least all carbureted bikes, if you get a little bit of gas, open the throttle a little bit, then the bike will start so much better. You know, every bike is so different because, like my Yamaha, it would not start like you would try that and it would not start at all if you crack the throttle like that oh come on baby Got to get to know every bike. Wasn't till the second ride today. I figured that part out. Because so many of the bikes have been like Beta, Yamaha. Shoot. Even my KTMs of late, none of them wanted any gas. 
you give them gas and they just would not start. This one, totally different. It's got to have a little gas in order to start. in the name path. It's a pivot turn switch back, which works reasonably well on the way up, but it's much harder to do that on the way back down. You know, I find myself covering the clutch with two fingers on this bike because it's just a little bit harder to pull this clutch. It's weird because it's a Brembo brake just like on my um, other... It's a Brembo clutch just like on my other bikes right now. But this one is not as easy to pull. 